This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Last time we helped Sir Gallant Cooper and we defeated Penelope, who betrayed us. And now we are head in this Arabian. I guess it'd be Arabia. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyways, this probably this. Oh, I didn't even know this guy here. Oops. This is a pretty nice level. It's very um nice. Also, we meet probably my favorite Cooper in this game. He's a lot of fun. Uh, sorry, I'm just adjusting my mic level. Stupid crabs. These crabs actually attack you. Alright, um... Anyways, we gotta go ahead and... Whoops. Find. Oh my gosh, what's going on with me today? Ugh. Okay, sorry. I've been playing... A, I've been practicing a lot of my other LP and the C, uh, the control stick for um, changing the uh, camera is the opposite. So I'm kind of used to that. Alright, anyways, let's see. Okay, Sly. The street is that Salim Al Kupar was driven into hiding, but that he's still in the area. We need to figure out where he's hiding and then find out why. To facilitate that, I've built you a new toy. Cool. Is it a robotic turtle butler? No. After gathering data from your ancestors, I've been able to map the Cooper DNA. I've modified your binoculum with a new visual guidance system that I've programmed to detect anything with which Salim al Kupar may have come in contact. Wow, Bentley. That's some real science fiction. That's pretty impressive. How did Bentley do that? Oh, oh sh that was That was smart. Oh my gosh, and it put me right in the enemy hands. Yikes. Gosh, I've been playing way too much of my other practice game. Jeez, it really did mess me up when it comes to uh, the camera. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. uh, there is a warning. There is a bit of slowdown in this level. There's quite a bit of slowdown in this level. Wow. I wonder if Salim was trying to see if he could summon a genie from one of these lamps. He must be really desperate. Activate your binoculum and scan the surrounding areas. You should see a glow on any object that Salim has recently touched. Uh, I'm breaking everything first, Bentley, if you don't mind. I'm breaking as much stuff as I can. I don't think Salim will mind that much. I'm detecting something near your location. Yeah, I'm still breaking everything first, Bentley. Sorry. I just got to. It's in my nature. Break, 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 break it all, break it, everything's gonna break, yeah. Alright. No, shut up, Snake. Why, use the binoculum. I'm detecting something near your location. Why, that door definitely does not belong here. You'd better get a picture of that as well so I can analyze it. Okie dokie, Bentley, you're the boss. Strange door. Gotta get a perfect picture. Beautiful. Look at that. That's going on the wall. Okay, Sly. You should get out of there and head for the village while I sort this out. I've marked a waypoint for you. Thank you, Bentley. You're so helpful. I still need some more data, Sly. Keep searching. Okie dokie. Um, what, what would be the best way to get over there? Oh, there's a magic carpet. Alright, let's see... All right, we'll go this way since it's trying to avo avoid bottles at the moment. We'll get those later. Break this open for some money. Yeah, it's a pretty good way to break uh, the La Paradox's toxic waste dumps. You can just do Sly's golfing attack. That's what I call it because he's basically just golfing. Oh my gosh, way too close. All right, let's get up here. And where is it? All right, let's see. What do we got? Oh, we got something over this way. It looks like. I think it's over this way. Oh, look at that! Looky, looky. Hair follicle. Well, Salim's obviously not neglecting his grooming. <laughs> that's funny. Not neglecting. Oops, got scratch my ear. Not neglecting his group. Well, that's important, Bentley. Yeah. You wouldn't understand. You don't have um. You don't have hair, so this doesn't affect you. Yeah, this this level gets a lot of slowdown. I'm not really sure what it is, but this level really gets a ton of slowdown. It's unfortunate because it's a really nice level. Near your 
your location. All right. If I remember, it's over here. Okay, there's no guards. Oh, it's right here. What the hell is that? Looks like a pot. Interesting. Looks like Salim recently took this camel for a test drive. No, oh, it's clothing. Okay. Well, shut up. Oh, yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we could go this way. Yeah, it seemed to be okay. Watch out, lizard. Shut up, snake. Gosh, you're so annoying. Oh, man, I freaking love the smoke bomb. One of the slides, best things you could buy. I mean, besides the silent run and the rail fast run, which are really good. Okay, we should we should be getting there pretty soon. Oh yeah, I remember this place. There's actually a secret area you can get over to. Um, it's actually pretty interesting. It's right through those. Uh, it's right there. Well, at first I got to steal Bentley. All right, then I gotta kill him. If you go right here, you can actually get to a secret area. It's actually pretty interesting. There's a there's a sly um, emblem there you can grab a mask. So you might want to do that if you're collecting them all. It was the one I didn't have, so I was like, where the hell was it? And then I found it by accident. How did you get that? I don't actually under- maybe- I don't know, maybe he got boat residue from all those things. This is a nice boat though, I must say. Greetings. You're Salim al Kapar, aren't you? And who are you? Uh, well, that part's kind of... complicated. I'm a thief like you, but I'm kind of new in town. How about you come back to my gang's hideout and I can explain myself? How about you go lick a camel's hump? <laughs> okay. Look, I know you're in trouble. I'm here to help. I can explain everything, but let's go where we can talk safely. Besides, you look hungry. How would you like some food? Food? <laughs> it was foolish of you not to mention that in the first place. Let's go. I think he's definitely my favorite Cooper in this game. I don't know what it is, but I just really like him. He's funny. He really cares about food, which I, I can relate. I mean, food's important. Food's nice to have. Back at the hideout, introductions went quickly as Salim stuffed his face. He told us about his problem. Some new player calling herself Miss Decibel had rolled into town and started throwing lots of money around. It didn't take a genius to figure out who the time-traveling lieutenant was here. Salim and the three remaining thieves had decided to pull one last heist before disappearing into retirement. Miss Decibel being the target. Of course, with her technology, she had easily captured his thief brothers, and Salim had been trying to come up with a plan to free them ever since. Bentley uncovered some interesting background information. Miss Decibel had come from a wealthy British family. Her true love was classical music. Unfortunately, her complete lack of musical talent, coupled with an extreme temper, made for a volatile combination. After suffering a freak accident during a tantrum, she was left unable to play music, normally. However, when she discovered she could control people with her hypnotic tones, a new criminal was born. She began using her devious talents to control others, forcing them to commit crimes for her. We told Salim about the paradox, and the whole thing made some strange kind of sense to him. The bad news was that he wasn't completely convinced that we were there to help him. I could see I was going to have to prove myself. Again. Oh, Sly, you always gotta prove yourself. I like it when you're not clicking on him, he's kinda like guarding the bull, like, this is mine, you can't have it! But then when you click, when you- Oh, it won't let me click on him, but when you do click on him, he kinda points to someone else, like, eh, you, don't, you don't want me, I'm not good at this. Do Sly, he's better. It's pretty funny. 
All right, anyways, let's go ahead and do our mission. But yeah, Celine Aldu Kapar, I'm probably saying that wrong, but he is definitely my favorite out of the Coopers in this game. There's some, I just, like I said, his personality is actually rather funny, and it's it's more, I mean, um, Sir Gallith's um, personality was also, was also rather funny too, being, you know, very um, noble-like. But there's something kind of funny about Celine because he's, he's, I wouldn't say a coward, but he's kind of lazy. Which is kind of funny, you know, he kind of, he's kind of like, eh, you know, whatever, I don't really care too much. It's just kind of funny. I like him a lot. Okay, apparently Salim lost a small fortune betting on the camels a while back and had to pawn his thief outfit. Sly, if we could buy that outfit back for Salim, I'm sure we could gain his trust. The shopkeeper is a security freak, a real head case. His place is a fortress and he never leaves. All business is conducted through a slot in the door. I think this is one time we're going to have to play it straight and pay the man what he wants. As you might imagine, his price is pretty steep. The shopkeeper will only accept payment in the form of flawless gemstones. Three to be exact. The only gems of that quality around here are the decorative stones embedded in the city walls. I've located the three largest specimens for you. All you have to do is remove them, avoid the guards, and bring them to the shop. Just make sure those gems are still flawless when you get there. He wants three rubies for a suit. This suit better be able to, I don't know, slow down time or something. Pfft. I don't know, that, but that would just be silly though if that could happen. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get this three ruby thing. Rubies. Alright. Well, I see here's some bows, but the, uh, I mean arrows, but those are only for, uh, you know, killing. They're not for actually, um, ropes. Alright, just take this. Oh gosh, ow! Ew! I love how the slide's like, okay. Flawless gem. Good job, Sly. That's one huge rock. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Are those statues alive, or what's the deal? They seem like something that should go in Catherine. I'm not really sure. All right. Let's avoid the bottle. Oh, okay. Ooh, man, I love the paraglider. I wish I had one. I wish I had one in real life. I would use it all the time. Oh gosh, no. Damn it. That water looks really nice, though. But yeah, if I had a paraglider, I would use it all the damn time. I would probably play the floor is lava without... St oh, jeez. Gosh, I freaking love the smoke bombs. That, the paraglider, and the silent run, and the silent rail running. It's probably one of the best... Well, and the pickpocketing while moving. Actually, there's quite a few great abilities that Sly gets. And you should get them all. Why are these things just like here, though? They seem... Like, they'd be pretty easy to steal. I don't think this is something you're ever going to get used to, Sly. That's really creepy. Two gems down, one to go. Alright, awesome. One more. Doink. Doink. I love, I love these pillows everywhere. I, I get the feeling, though, that Arabia doesn't have pillows scattered everywhere. But I could be wrong. Maybe Arabia just has a real thing for pillows. Who can blame them? Pillows are nice. There's nothing quite like a really good pillow. Oh, there's something so special about it. Alright, and boing. Yeah! Yoink! Give me your gym, baby. Oh, I didn't notice they were on slides back. Gosh, seriously, though. This better be the best suit in the unit. This better be the best, like... Clothing ever. Now, just make sure you get those gems to the shop in one piece. I, I'm not sure if you can get hit in this mission. I get the feeling if you get hit, it's over. But I've never been hit in this mission before, so I wouldn't know. Ooh, let's steal real quick. Yeah, I haven't stolen enough yet. Um, man, I'm just thinking about when I actually start collecting the treasures. When I get the last costume, I will not have to grind for. Oh shoot, I will. What's this turn? I didn't mean to do it. I will not have to grind for anything because I'm going to get so much money from all the treasure. What do you want? I'm here to buy the thief outfit. 
Sorry, I do not believe one such as yourself could meet my price. Good day. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, I guess I'll just have to go bet these gems on the camel races. Wait, you have gems? Let me see. Man, these rocks are so heavy, I can barely lift them. You want the gems? I want the outfit. Do we have a deal? Indeed. If you want to purchase these old rags, who am I to object? All sales final, no returns. <laughs> All right, we have probably the best costume in the whole game. Target is Philippe, and it's obvious that outfit is the key to his success. He claims it was once owned by a real genie, and that it could actually slow time. Fascinating. I wonder if it somehow influenced your ancestor, Matthew de la Coupere's slow motion techniques. In any event, only someone possessing the famed Cooper Focus can pull it off. Good job, Sly. Although it seems we have another problem. Salim tells me that Miss Decibel is constantly changing the locations of the captured thieves, which makes them almost impossible to track. It's gonna be... Hold on, Sly. I'm picking something up. Sweet sunspots. Sly, the paradox is here. He's mating with Miss Decibel right now. Sounds like the perfect opportunity for a little eavesdropping. Great idea. Just one thing. That outfit won't fool these guards. They know the locals and they'll peg you for a stranger immediately. You should just stay out of sight. Thanks for the info, Bentley. I'm on my way. Hey. It's Aladdin's carpet. So yeah, this costume is extremely good. And also you get a big you get a sword at the end of this thing, which you have to use for some puzzles. Sly, seeing you today has made me realize you are truly one of a kind. Right, hopefully you can hear them, because I can't. Did I mention I love your new perfume? It has such a delightful hint of peanuts. Uh, Cyril, you making me blush. <laughs> so, please tell me the operation is going according to plan. Of course, everything is progressing splendidly. I have those raggedy little thieves completely under my control. I've never seen better forgeries. The documents they're producing are of the highest quality. Perfect. Once I get them back to the present day and my royal lineage is discovered, my wealth and power will be unstoppable. Well, <laughs> there is one tense little problem. <laughs> we still need to feed our little worker bees, but our supplies are running low. The one who calls himself the Pamper seems to work best when I feed him scorpion claws. Disgusting! <laughs> yeah, very well. I shall have some delivered immediately. Whatever it takes to keep these vermin working. Oh, and one more thing. Tell your guards if they don't capture Cooper, I will have them all fired and then executed. Sly, did you Jeez hear Louise. That? They're creating a false royal identity for Le Paradox in the present day. If that happens, he'll be close to untouchable. Remember to bring a handkerchief. They also need a delivery. The panther needs scorpion claws. <laughs> Maybe we can make that work for us. It must be all the camel hair. The decibel just keeps looking behind her. Thankfully, no one looks up in here. You get worried they're gonna see me. Thankfully, no. Hmm. I could swear I heard something. That's kind of creepy. She has a trumpet stuck in her nose. Seems really uncomfortable. What a flatterer you are! 
Watch where you're pointing that trunk. Ah, how lovely to see you here, clapping in the breeze once again, Cherie. Why, Zero, are you trying to tell me something? Tell me. Oh, oh for a second I thought they caught me. Sand pit. Well, darling, this dry environment plays absolute havoc with my sinuses. <laughs> my music practice has been atrocious lately. Would you like to hear that? Not really, but I want you to hear me. Do not fail me like those other idiots, Shari. I'd hate to see you stranded here permanently. Oh, I, uh, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Good, because the others have failed. Even Penelope, and she was the smart one. But now I have to turn my back on her. You understand? Oh, yes, of course. Everything will go precisely as planned. Uh, although, I must trouble you for some camel cheese. Absolutely horrid stuff, but the thief called the tiger seems to rely on it, and our reserves are almost depleted. Can't we just starve these filthy hoodlums into submission? Ah, uh, fine. I will send a delivery boy. More delivery? Sly, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ooh, that's an elephant novel. Camel cheese? Ew. You should warn me before you do that. Finley, that's a little insensitive, okay? That's one thing that's always kind of bugged me, is... Oh, I'm out. Talk later. Oh, no, sweetums. I believe that's all. As soon as the documents are complete, I will deliver them personally. Magnifique! Then I should have them very soon. Oh, wait. There is one lost itty-bitty little thing. <laughs> the one called the lion seems to favor cobra tails. And you know how troublesome those are to obtain. Fine, you shall have them. But I had better get those papers quickly. Boy, I'd hate to be the guy that has to collect the cobra tails. I'm feeling a bit peckish. Must be time for a snack. Yeah, but that's that's sort of one thing that's always kind of bothered me is um, like people saying well, ill to other I cultures' foods, and that's idea. like extremely well, rude. It may not work on the guards, but I bet outsiders like the Paradox and Miss Decibel wouldn't know the difference. She's expecting deliveries for the thieves, right? Try using the outfit to impersonate the delivery boy. If they buy it, we'll know where the thieves are being kept. Excellent idea, Bentley. And just to ensure it's foolproof, I'm gonna use my... No, Sly, don't say it! Italian accent! Oh no, don't, Sly, that's horrible. That's suicidal. Sly is the worst accent ever. But yeah, that's always gonna bug me because, you know, it's like, hey, you know what, that may be the best they got. And it's extremely rude just, to, you know, just to say, ew, that's disgusting. I mean, I am not a picky person at all. There's only one thing in this world I do not like, and that is mayonnaise. That's it. There's pretty much nothing I do not like. It's just mayonnaise. But I've always found that just extremely rude when people call other cultures' foods gross. There is a couple things, though, I have found from other cultures that are a bit different um probably nothing i would try but i would dec you know i would never be disrespectful about it you know but there are some things that are a bit different a little you know a little out of my taste range and but you know that's always just kind of bug me personally but i don't know yes, identify yourself immediately it's a me mario boy you are called hmm i don't recognize your scruffy features the other boys are out to seek uh, something about the snake bites. Is there something wrong with your voice? No, uh, I've uh, talked like this uh, my whole life. How droll. I see. Well, if you're really the delivery person, then you would know the usual orders, no? What a food does the panther require? Why, the panther loves the scorpion claws. Hmm. He appears to be legitimate. Oh, thank goodness. Here are the delivery locations. Hurry up, please. You know, you think La Paradox would know what Sly looks like. Because in Italy, that accent would be considered a felony. Now let's go rescue those thieves. I love Sly's Italian accent. It's so bad, it's good. Alright, job complete. Awesome.
All right, but you know what? Um, <laughs> look at him. He's like, no, don't use me, please. Use anybody else. But you know what? Um, I'm gonna end the video here, and we're gonna go ahead and collect the bottles in the next part. So this has been Yom Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue playing more Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Okay, bye then.